So now we're going to get into actually the the, um, the next phases of this this little mini series, and that's where we're actually going to learn some stuff. So um, let's learn the basics of color, light, and shadow. Um, the first thing I want to do is put a shout out to Sykra, who I learned how to make all of. I mean, lately uh, he's he's really taught me all of the most important things I wanted to learn about making digital art and also real art. And he's got two series that are really awesome. One is called The Foundation of Light and Shadow. So um, I, I just went to youtube.com slash Sykra. That's his name, S-Y-C-R-A. And that reminds me, I've really got to send him an email and tell him thank you for um, for all his great videos. And especially these two series, uh, Foundation of Light and Shadow. And he's also got another one on colors, color tutorial. And, oh, and he's also got another one where he goes through the basics of how he would um, how he would start over as an artist if he were to he were to start making art. Um, these are the things he would he would um, do. I think it might be this one. So you want to be a professional artist. But anyways, two really really important ones are this: how to choose colors that work. This is a great one. How to choose colors, and I'm gonna let him. Kind of explain things more but I'll, I'll go into actually making art here in Photoshop a little bit but if you really want to learn a lot I mean he's already got amazing materials on becoming an artist like how to do little things that and um, like I was just mentioning that color one is awesome and the foundation of light and shadow series start with that it's amazing so um, let's go and actually I'll show you a couple examples of what um, what I learned from his videos so I'm gonna go make a new um, palette here and uh, we'll make it big because um, this one isn't gonna be too, well actually yeah, I'm gonna make it in the pixel art aesthetic. Um, so uh, actually maybe 256 is a bit too big. Let's do 128 by 128. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to draw a sphere. Um, and shade it. That's that's the thing that really it was really hard for me to learn it at first. I was like, how the heck do do artists create shading? It is it seems so mystical to me. So um, the first thing we want to do is just create a little uh, a circle. Um, we'll start with let's make a. Well, we're already here on red. I always love the color red, but let's do like like a purpley, not a mob. Yeah, like a purple sphere. So um, let's start with a light color up here in the top. And um, I'm just gonna, I've got a pencil tool here and I'm just gonna um, tap it once to create um, a big old, big old circle here. Now, how you would shade this, um, starting, with, starting with adding some highlights and then we're gonna add some shadows. So it's starting with highlights, uh, and um, Sykra does a way better job of explaining all this, so you delve into his videos for sure, but I'll show you a little bit. We want to go a little bit lighter, and and then I'm going to go a little bit smaller over here with this brush, and actually I'm going I'm to use a brush tool instead of the pencil tool, and I'm going to make sure it's like a fuzzy little brush like this, So um, and it's soft, so I want to go really, really down on the opacity. maybe two to five percent let's start with four four percent and just um, I'm gonna hold down um, and just draw a little bit looks like I need to go a little bit lighter or a little bit more opacity so yeah I need more opacity this is taking to take forever so let's do ten percent there we go, we're starting to get a little bit, maybe too much actually, let's do 8%. And actually I'm gonna undo all my previous and I'm gonna show you how, to, how um, a cool way to do layers and shading and things like that. If I, um, if I do this next layer up here and then I hold down the option key and click it, everything I draw on this layer, this new layer, will be applied only to this layer below it. So if I go over here to the side and I draw a whole bunch, it's not going to do anything because it's only applying um, to the layer below. 
So here I'm gonna I'm I'm kind of like going in a circle and creating some shading, and this isn't perfect, but it's kind of getting the point of what a highlight would look like. Just adding on a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and um, yeah, that's kind of dirty, but um, you get the point. 